So this is my uh, update on my original uh, Fluvial Edge 6 gallon aquarium I got like 14 months ago. And I'm going to go over how it's aged in that time and uh, improvements made to it. Um, but um, currently in the tank I have uh, two Amano shrimp. There's one of them there on his, uh, his salad bar. He likes to to uh, graze on that algae. I have four uh, tetras, tetra neons, and I have four uh, cory catfish. Um, they're in the uh, the cave right now. Um, I originally had uh, two cory catfish, uh, or three cory catfish. One of them died, and the, the remaining two. Uh, gave birth to uh, two others. So, like I said, now I have four quarry catfish. It's a mom and dad and two of their children. Uh, so they're got a little family unit there for the quarries. So I'm going to go over uh, basically what has changed and, uh, you know, I'm going for the natural look. So uh, I'm very pleased with uh, how it's turned out in the last uh, 14 months. Uh, you can see how my uh, aquarium is next to two windows. They get like indirect light. And um, I'm sure that helps with the, the plants and the uh, the algae growth on the, uh, the rocks. And of course with the fluvial edge, you get that uh, ability to look down on the aquarium. Uh, you get that really unique angle reviewing of the tank because the water comes all the way up to the glass so that's a really cool feature of this this aquarium and I got uh, natural sand back from the the creek behind our house um, and I just love the look of it it's not that uh, over pure sand you buy at the store um, but uh, I had to clean it out a bit, of course, but you got to clean out store-bought sand, too, but just love that look. And uh, the quarry catfish, you know, they swim around the bottom with their whiskers in the sand, and, uh, you know, I think they really enjoy it, too. It's a lot more interesting and uh, finer grain, I think, easier on their whiskers than uh, the coarser uh, store-bought sand. So, uh, yeah, I'm really glad I found that. It's definitely got a lot more natural look to it. Also, since it's been like 14 months, I've got some really nice uh, algae growing on the rocks. If you compare it to the, uh, the old video, the rocks are clean, but I just love this uh, natural algae growing on them and it's great because it's uh it's not too much and the uh amano shrimp uh graze on it um so it's just uh looks like these rocks have been in there a long time and uh it just looks more natural instead of just clean rocks with no algae so uh yeah they're like uh feeding grounds for the Amano shrimp. Another thing I like about uh, the plants um, over the last year is that their roots have attached to the, uh, the log in there so they've grown into it. And, uh, so they are firmly attached to that log. So it looks like they belong there. So that's that's really cool. Um, this guy too. Um, he's really his roots are all wrapped up into the crevices of that log. So I'm loving that. I also found these uh, shells on the Potomac River. Um, they they've been in there a while, and they've just taken on this uh, really beautiful kind of sea green patina and uh, 
they're not live snails of course they're cast offs but I just love that uh, that look in there uh, there's the uh, one of my original fish the Cory catfish she's the one that had a like a fin disease you can see how she's uh, missing one of her fins on her side but uh, she doesn't see in the mine and she gets around really well um, so yeah she's a survivor back in the parking garage